sounding overly dramatic, I can tell you this was awful. I mean, it was a flat out mess. Let me give you a bigger look here. This is from the WLKY Chopper HD. This is northbound 71 just before the Gene Snyder. Around 4 o'clock this afternoon, there was a crash that completely shut that interstate down. Along with a lot of you, that left 19 JCPS buses carrying 400 middle and high school students stuck on the interstate in the heat. District leaders went to work fast trying to come up with a plan and fire crews and EMS teams and police officers went to that scene to try to help those kids get to a safer place. That safer place? Ballard High School. The school opened its doors. JCPS staffers, some of whom were on their way home, made their way to that school to accommodate the influx of kids. The district also sent out a phone blast to parents explaining what was going on and telling them where they could pick up their kids. So we talked to some of those kids at Ballard. Some of them had been stuck on the interstate for more than three hours. I was trying to be like grateful that I was um, alive, even though I was burning hot on the first day of school. It was terrible for the first two hours because we didn't have water or AC. Everyone, there was a lot of people on there, so was, the bus was heating up because of that. JCS points out that this was an event completely out of their control, but they did respond to it immediately. No students were injured in any way. One student who is diabetic was checked out by paramedics, but is okay. The last student was picked up from Ballard High School around 7 p.m. Rick 